everyone, I'm Maureen and welcome to Buying Land and Finding a Dream Property. Today we'll be talking with you about covenants, but first I'd like to welcome you and if you're new to our channel, please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button down below and then click on the um, notification bell so that you'll be notified of any upcoming segments. Now if this is the first video that you've watched in our series, I would suggest you click on the link up above here and we'll take you to other segments uh, in this series. Now we have covered so far part one, which is preparing for starting your search for looking for your dream property. And I've also touched on what I consider to be the top five pitfalls of purchasing property and how you can avoid them. Now today I came outside to talk to you about covenants because it's a beautiful spring day. And this morning when I was hanging out my laundry, it reminded me of covenants. Now the reason why is that I've always considered hanging out my laundry to be a fundamental right. And a few years ago, when Glenn and I were visiting a friend in Ottawa, she lived at a beautiful community, a really nice, um, really nice rural house community, and she bought this beautiful house. You know, we were just talking about family stuff and properties and all that, and I says, why don't you have a place to hang out your laundry? And she says, well, I can't, it's against the rules. And it really surprised me. I thought, how could you not be allowed to hang out laundry? Something that I consider to be a fundamental right. And then she says, well, you know, I don't mind not being able to hang out laundry because I don't want to look at my neighbors. So that was a really good point. And that kind of shows the two sides of covenants, right? Like they could be a bonus or they could not. So when you're looking at a property and you're getting ready to put in your offer to purchase, um, get a copy of the deed so that you can look at the covenants and anything else that the deed includes, that information that you should know and be aware of before you put in an offer. Now your covenants are things that that tell you what you can and can't do to the property. Now they could be a bonus, like there could be something in the covenants that you think, yes, like that is a real bonus for you and you like that idea. So it could be a bonus for you, but on the other hand, it could be something that's negative. They could be telling you something that you can't do that, um, that you don't you don't want to have any part of. So you need to check those out before you start putting your offer in. Now the deed also has other information um, about rights of ways, rights of use, your mineral rights, your surface rights, the legal description. All this would be included in the deed. Now get a copy of that. Now, it's quite possible that the real estate agent has a copy. So ask them and if they do that would be great. Now the first page of the deed shows how many pages are included. So make sure you get all the pages so you get all the information. Now, if, if you're unable to get a copy of the deed from the real estate agent, you can do a title search yourself or you can hire someone to do it for you. And then, so once you do that and you go through the deed and check everything, and if it's all satisfactory to you, then you can go on to the next step of preparing to put in your offer to purchase for your dream property. Now, coming up in future segments, we're going to be talking about rights of ways and rights of use, their definitions, their differences, and how they could affect your property. We're also going to be talking about permits in unorganized townships. Do you need a permit? What type of permit do you need? And how would that affect you if you're looking at buying a property in an unorganized area? And we'll also touch on the basics of um, reading a plan of survey and how you could do that so you could gather more information about the property and about the boundaries and anything that the survey is um, telling you about it. And then we'll also have part two of starting your search for the property, which is how to do it in a time effective manner so that you can save time and save money while you're looking for your dream property. So please join us in the next segment. And if you haven't already done so, click on the subscribe button down below and then click on the notification bell so that you'll get notifications of segments coming up. And until next time, thank you for joining. I'm Maureen, over and out and take care.